Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video and so I hope that you're all having a wonderful day thus far. So we will be talking about these five systems but the main focus will be on Invest 98L which is a Caribbean threat. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update video on the tropics and you can also show your support for the channel by leaving a like on this video and i want to say a big thank you to every single one of you that have been supportive of me it feels so surreal to now be at over 10,000 subscribers and this was actually my goal for this year that i thought was unattainable but you guys have proven me wrong and i'm just so happy right now and so of course i will continue to provide updated videos on what's happening across the tropics so that you're always aware of what's going on out there and so now let's go ahead and get on with these systems and we are starting off with a view of the north atlantic basin so let's point out some areas so there we have major hurricane fiona that uh has caused the hurricane warning to now be in effect for bermuda we have tropical storm gaston which is a threat to the azores there we have 98l in the southeastern caribbean we have 99l out there in the atlantic we could see that develop and then that tropical wave about to emerge off Africa. So let's look at these systems individually. And we're going to be starting out with major hurricane Fiona. And so here we have the cyclone and it is very strong. It is a monster right now churning out there in the Atlantic. And uh, as time goes by though, it is likely to eventually weaken. But Bermuda will be impacted as we're going to be progressing into tomorrow. And so looking at the cone forecast for the cyclone now, we're seeing here that it is uh it currently has maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the north northeast at 13 miles per hour so it should remain a major hurricane as we had throughout today and throughout tomorrow uh, maybe it will be downgraded to a hurricane as we're going to be progressing into the early part of saturday and then it will likely become post tropical on approach to atlantic canada so those areas up there are likely to be impacted as we're going to be heading into the end of this week and going into the early part of next week but the imminent threat is bermuda so again the small island is under a hurricane warning as such conditions are expected from fiona as we're going to be heading into tomorrow so if you're there i ensure that you are taking all the necessary precautions and staying safe but the the fortunate thing is that Fiona is moving a bit quicker now. It's going to be uh, moving much faster, maybe up until Saturday when we see that a bit of uh, a slower motion is expected as the system makes its way into land and then uh, it should start accelerating much faster out as it will eventually dissipate and then let's go ahead and talk about our other systems now and so now we are taking a look at uh tropical storm gaston so here's the cone forecast for it and gaston currently has maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour so it's holding on to that intensity so it doesn't look as though it's going to be strengthening a lot more but uh it seems as though it might be at its peak right now and so it is moving to the east north east at 17 miles per hour and at this time a tropical storm warning is in effect for the azores as gaston is going to be making its way into the region and then making that turn to the west uh, where it should be weakening and becoming post-tropical all right and now let's move on to our three tropical disturbances starting out with that wave that is about to emerge off the coast so the formation chance for this one is now at 60 percent maybe by the 8 a.m updated will be updated to 70 percent but uh it is at 60 percent right now and so it is Exactly that we will see some development of this once it emerges off the coast of Africa and starts to make that northward track. And here we have Invest 99L, which is given a 30% chance to possibly develop. Uh, it's a very slow moving system right now. It's just lingering out there. And so uh, we could see some development of this one, but uh, the main focus is not on that right now. It is on this one, Invest 98L, which is given a high 90% chance to develop into a tropical cyclone over the next five days and a high 70 percent chance through the next 48 hours and so uh let's look at the system at a closer view here and we're seeing that it is located in the southeastern caribbean and it is bringing some impacts to the windward islands as well as 
uh, sections of northern Venezuela. And some of that is even making its way into the ABC Islands right now. And those areas will continue to be impacted maybe through the next several days. And then northern Colombia should feel some impacts as well. So uh, this is going to be resulting in a lot of heavy rainfall and even some gusty winds across the area. And the reason we're not seeing a whole lot of development is because wind shear is affecting it and that is being induced by the outflow of Fiona and so we'll take a look at the wind shear map very soon but of course once Fiona is going to be accelerating away and the system is going to be moving more to the central and western Caribbean it is going to be encountering much more conducive conditions and then that is where we could really see some serious intensification of the system so here we have the shear map and the red indicates unfavorable shear that is strong upper level winds that really help to inhibit development of tropical cyclones and that is kind of what's happening right now with 98L. Meanwhile the yellow indicates neutral shear and the green means favorable shear. So right now 98L wants that and if we look at the rest of the Caribbean we're seeing here that we have some favorable shear extended across the region so uh, the disturbance is going to be propagating into this region of favorability and we'll likely start to see some organization of the system as it makes its way towards the west and so guys now we are taking a look at the ensemble tracks for the euro and uh, we have the various tracks right here but the black line is the mean or the average of what is expected and so guys uh, in terms of the colors of these once we're heading to the dark blue going to the green uh, the yellow that is indicating an intensifying tropical cyclone here and we're seeing that most of these ensemble members are not expecting imminent development of this mainly when it's just south of Jamaica thereabout and even though the tracks are keeping the center of this system away from Jamaica if it is large enough it could still induce a lot of heavy rainfall and gusty winds across portions of the island and remember that what we're seeing here is not guaranteed to happen so uh, there are many possibilities that are on the table for this system but eventually we have some members keeping it uh over going over Cuba and then Florida and making its way out into the Atlantic so many possibilities on the table right here and then as you look at the GFS ensemble members uh, we're seeing that some of these members here showing that the system is going to be crossing over Jamaica and out but uh, the majority are keeping the system headed south of Jamaica and into the Gulf of Mexico so uh, a little bit similar to what the euro is expecting but of course there is just so much uncertainty for the future of the system and that is why the entire Northwestern Caribbean, uh, Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, I would even go on to say the Yucatan should be keeping an eye on what is happening here because it is definitely likely that we're going to be seeing development. I think that that is sort of inevitable for this system here, but uh, in terms of the exact track of it, that is just unknown right now and there are just so many possibilities on the table for it. But of course, guys, I'm going to be keeping you updated on all that is happening out there as time goes by. And that is really it for now so again those impacts across the southeastern caribbean should persist for a little while cross sections of the Wimbledon islands uh, including trinidad and tobago as well as northern venezuela and the abc islands in northern colombia will live eventually be impacted by the system as it makes its way further into the Caribbean. And so if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.